On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. The Dornier Du 24 is a 1930s German three engine flying boat designed by the Dornier Flugzeugwerke for maritime patrol and search and rescue. A total of 279 were built among several factories from 1937 to 1945. Design and Development Dornier Du 24 V3 Prototype in Dutch Markings The Dornier Du 24 was designed to meet a Royal Netherlands Navy requirement for a replacement of the Dornier walls being used in the Dutch East Indies, with the Netherlands government signing a contract for six Dornier Du 24s on 3 August 1936. Two more prototypes were built for the German Navy to be evaluated against the Blom and Voss BV 138. The Du-24 was an all-metal parasol monoplane with a broad-beamed hull and stabilizing sponsons. Twin tails were mounted on the upswept rear of the hull, while three-wing-mounted tractor configuration engines powered the aircraft. Fuel was carried in tanks in the sponsons and the wing center section. Two three, up to 1,200 kilograms, 2,600 pounds, of bombs could be carried under the aircraft's wings while defensive armament consisted of three gun turrets, one each in nose, dorsal and tail positions. In earlier aircraft the turrets were each fitted with a machine gun but later aircraft carried a 20mm cannon in the dorsal turret. The Heinkel He-115 was a three-seat World War II Luftwaffe seaplane. It was used as a torpedo bomber and performed general seaplane duties, such as reconnaissance and minilaying. The aircraft was powered by two 960 PS, 947 horsepower, 720 kilowatts, BMW 132K9 cylinder air-cooled radial engines. Some later models could seat four, had different engines or used different weapon arrangements. At the outbreak of the war, the He-115 was used for dropping parachute mines in British waters, normally aiming for narrow passages close to busy ports on the English south coast, the River Thames was also a prime target. The aircraft had its finest moment on anti-shipping operations against Arctic convoys from bases in northern Norway. Because the first convoys lacked air cover, the slow and lightly armed He-115 was less vulnerable than near the English coast. With the appearance of carriers and escort carriers, coupled with new Soviet heavy fighters like the Petlyakov Pe-3 bis, Luftwaffe air superiority over the convoys was challenged and losses increased. He-115 shot down by de Havilland Mosquito. Apart from its use as a minilayer and torpedo bomber, the He-115 was used for coastal reconnaissance and by KG-200 to drop agents behind enemy lines. The Loire 130 was a French flying boat that saw service during World War II. It was designed and built by Loire Aviation of Saint-Nazaire. The Loire 130's performance was deemed to be good and production orders for 150 of the machines were placed. It entered production in 1937 and replaced most ship-borne seaplanes and flying boats already in service. In the late 1930s, the Loire 130s were serving aboard most battleships and cruisers of the French Navy, as well as aboard the seaplane tender Commandant Tester. Although appearing quite obsolete and having very marginal performance for their time, 
Quite a few war 130s survived the war and remained in post-war French service, especially in French colonies until 1951. Karl Dunitz, sometimes spelled Dunitz, German, Der Nitz, listen, the 16th of September 1891, the 24th of December 1980, was a German admiral who briefly succeeded Adolf Hitler as head of state in May 1945, holding the position until the dissolution of the Flensburg government following Germany's unconditional surrender to the Allies days later. As supreme commander of the navy beginning in 1943, he played a major role in the naval history of World War II. The Arado R-196 was a shipboard reconnaissance low-wing monoplane aircraft built by the German firm of Arado starting in 1936. The next year it was selected as the winner of a design contest and became the standard aircraft of the Kriegsmarine, German Navy, throughout World War II. The airplane was loved by its pilots, who found that it handled well both in the air and on the water. Citation needed, with the loss of the German surface fleet, the A-1s were added to coastal squadrons and continued to fly reconnaissance missions and submarine hunts into late 1944. Two notable operations were the capture of HMS SEAL, and the repeated interception of Royal Air Force Armstrong with with Whitley bombers. Although it was no match for a fighter, it was considerably better than its allied counterparts, and generally considered the best of its class. Citation needed, owing to its good handling on water, the Finnish Air Force utilized R 196 A3s, which were later upgraded to A5s in mid 1944 for reconnaissance duties as well as supply runs. Several troops could fit inside its fuselage. By the start of the Second World War, Dunitz was supreme commander of the Kriegsmarine's U-boat arm, Befeils Hobbader und Zeboter, Jew. In January 1943, Dunitz achieved the rank of Grossotmeral, Grand Admiral, and replaced Grand Admiral Erich Reder as commander-in-chief of the Navy. Dunitz was the main enemy of Allied naval forces in the Battle of the Atlantic. From 1939 to 1943 the U-boats fought effectively but lost the initiative from May 1943. Dunitz ordered his submarines into battle until 1945 to relieve the pressure on other branches of the Wehrmacht, armed forces. Three, 648 U-boats were lost, 429 with no survivors. Furthermore, of these, 215 were lost on their first patrol. Around 30,000 of the 40,000 men who served in new boats perished. The Koenigsberg class, sometimes referred to as the K-class, was a class of light cruisers of the German Reichsmarine and Kriegsmarine. The class comprised three ships named after German cities, Koenigsberg, Karlsruhe, and Köln, all built between 1926 and 1930. These ships were the first of the Reichsmarine with a modern cruiser design, their predecessor, Emden, was based on World War I-era designs. They were armed with a main battery of 9 15 cm, 5.9 in, 
guns and with 1250 centimeters, 20 in, torpedo tubes, was a German light cruiser that was operated between 1929 and April 1940, including service in World War II. She was the lead vessel of her class and was operated by two German navies, the Reichsmarine and the Kriegsmarine. She had two sister ships, Karlsruhe and Köln. Königsberg was built by the Kriegsmarine Uft in Wilhelmshaven, she was laid down in April 1926, launched in March 1927, and commissioned into the Reichsmarine in April 1929. She was armed with a main battery of 915 cm SKC-25 guns in three triple turrets and had a top speed of 32 knots, 59 km per hour, 37 miles per hour. Wilhelm Marshall, 30 September 1886, 20 March 1976, was a German admiral during World War II. He was also a recipient of the Paula Marit which he received as commander of the German U-boat UB-105 during World War I. The Paula Marit was the Kingdom of Prussia's highest military order for German officers until the end of World War I. In 1942, Marshall was named commanding admiral of occupied France and replaced Alfred Salwater as commander of Marine Group in Commando West. On 1 February 1943 he was promoted to General Admiral, but was replaced as Western Commander by Theodore Cranker and deactivated later that spring. During the remainder of the war, Marshall was reactivated twice, once as Sunderbevelmisch Tigta, Special Agent, for the Danube, and once as Commander of the Marinier Burkommando West shortly before the end of the war. From 1945-47 he was held as a prisoner of war. Clarification needed. Marshall died in Mon, West Germany, in 1976. The Loire 130 was a French flying boat that saw service during World War II. It was designed and built by Loire Aviation of Saint-Nazaire. The Loire 130 originated from a mid-1930s requirement from the French Navy for a reconnaissance seaplane or flying boat that could also serve aboard French battleships and cruisers. Chosen in 1936 against five competitors, Brigitte 610, Gordelisa GL820 High, Levis RPL.200, Patez Cams 120, 